Hey guys, Robert Hand with RobertHandPhotography.com coming to you right now with a film camera overview. Right now, this is not a review. I just want to show you a camera I've been shooting with, and uh, I hope that you will enjoy it as much as I do. This is the Pentax X or KX. Uh, for whatever reason, my dyslexia gets that confused all the time. KX, uh, and it's a really great mechanical camera with a solar cell light meter in there, a selenium light meter. Um, it was interesting that some of the information I found out about the KX when I was doing my research, I thought that maybe uh, when I got the KX, I kind of got like an in-between model release camera. And I, I would have assumed because I couldn't find any repair manuals on how to fix the KX specifically, uh, Pentax released one for the K1000. So I thought to myself, oh man, I got the KX and it has fewer features, but from my research and everything, and correct me in the comments below because I'm still learning this too, it appears that the um, KX actually has a couple features that the K1000 doesn't, specifically the self-timer and maybe even the mirror lockup function. Anyways, I was happy to find that out and if that's wrong, that's fine. You just let me know below and I'll, I'll go ahead and put in, I'll say thanks. How about that? When I got it, I got a, sev a 35 to 70 millimeter lens that I figured because it was broken, why not take apart and see if I could fix myself? And uh, although I didn't fix it, it was great to see how a lens is deconstructed and put back together. In fact, because I took that apart, uh, it's, it, it's caused me to be interested in taking other lenses apart, just buying these cheap broken lenses and just, just looking at them uh, in order to figure out how to fix them. You're gonna have to have something to play with to do it because I'm a technical kind of guy and I can do this. Um, just these are really technical, very small parts and you need you need a lot of micro magnifying glasses. Anyways, as far as this is, I really love the handling. It's a fully mechanical camera with shutter speeds from bulb up to one one thousandth of a second. The light meter works such that it is a um, aperture priority camera. So you set your aperture and then the light meter will show you uh, on the inside what your shutter speed should be. And that's pretty cool because it gives you the ability to choose yes or no, however you want. It's center weighted, uh, not spot metering, so it's just center weighted. Uh, there's also a locking lever on here. Let's just take a look at the top plate right here. Um, we've got our, there's film in here. This is our film advance and uh, our counter right there. We've also got, let me step out of here, maybe the camera can get it. We've got our shutter speeds, which work really nicely. This is a little shutter lock button, you know, so you can't press the shutter. Now there you can. Uh, you've got your... X branded for X flash sync hot shoe right there. You've got a battery test right here and you've got a um, uh, your film rewind and uh, ISO uh, ASA rating right there. On the front of the camera we've got our depth of field preview. You can even see on the inside there that it's open and closing. You also have your mirror lockup right here uh, which you have to push that little lever to the to the right and then push in and that also closes down your aperture for depth of field and uh, then you've got your self timer which is like up to 12 seconds and you have sync sockets over here uh, for both FP and X on the back of the camera of course you've got a memo holder and you've got your camera back itself and then on the bottom you've got the uh, rewind release once you're done shooting and exposing your film and you have your battery compartment this takes two batteries and of course your tripod mount this uses Pentax K mount uh, lens series, any MC lens, which from what I mean, from what I understand, it means manual coupling, um, is on there. Like, this is a Sears lens. I got this lens for $19 because I broke the other lens and it didn't have one. Uh, the camera did come with a two times extender, a doubler, which was pretty cool. It came with, actually it came with a whole lot of stuff. One zoom lens. No, this one didn't come with a zoom lens. It came with the 35 mil and to 70 mil macro that Pentax made. It was a Pentax branded macro. And then it came with uh, the two time extender, the, tele the, you know, the, the doubler. It came with a, a bag um, and it came with its original manuals. This film was purchased and this camera was purchased in Fort Lee, Virginia. It looks like 1976, I think if I remember correctly, I've got the original sales receipt, the person paid for this and a lens, I think $299, something like that at the time. I purchased the camera uh, and its original accessories for $35. I got this lens because I didn't have a lens for it for $19. So uh, I've got what I feel to be a really cool uh, a value, a nice bang for my buck. I'm gonna tell you what I really do enjoy about this camera 
is uh, it's just nice and solid and it's small compared to the Black Beauty and it's about this, it feels about the same size as when I use an X-T1, although an X-T1 is smaller and lighter. Uh, but this is solid metal, so when you hold this thing, you, you're really holding the camera. The viewfinder, that's the one thing I'll tell you about right now. The viewfinder itself, it has a micro prism. It does not have a split image and a micro prism, so it's just a micro prism and it's on its ground glass. So that's a little bit different. I really find that I like the micro prism in the Canon uh, EF, the Black Beauty over there. But anyways, as far as shooting it, on the images that I could see that I would be able to see on MPIX, even though I don't have the original ones to view, um, they looked good. What I could tell is that I think that this camera, I think that maybe the Black Beauty has a, um, either a light leak or I was just using some really bad film. So I have to run another couple rolls through it to see. But this one does definitely does not appear to be any issues. I checked all of that out when I got it, and it looks like it's just been kept nicely. Anyways, guys, there you go. I hope that you've enjoyed this, uh, just a little conversation about this camera. I'm Robert Ham with RobertHamPhotography.com. You can catch me over on Twitter, at RobHamPhoto. You can find me on both Facebook and YouTube at forward slash RobertHamPhotography. And as always, keep shooting, my friends. I feel like Take right now from Big Head Taco. Click, click. Taki, if you watch, I love your videos, man.